So we're starting a new week off. It is a Friday and I have to um, take these gifts in the other room. Um, the kids are coming over. Uh, they're coming over to spend the night, Gavin and Amelia. And um, so we brought their toys in here. But what we did, it was really uh, silly, was we went to Kevin's parents' house and they... Um, they got the kids some uh these gifts and we were uh we had totally intended to give them these gifts on new year's eve when we went to their house and so we were like okay we're not going to even take them in the house we're just going to leave them in the trunk of the car and that way when we go in their house we'll give them to them well guess what we did we went in the house and um completely left these in the trunk <laughs> but the good thing is is now they have um some things to play with um uh they'll have some things because i know i know amelia's is supposed to be a doll i don't remember what gavin's is supposed to be honestly but uh amelia's supposed to be getting a doll this is minecraft stuff minecraft stuff that believe it or not was kevin's um Kevin uh, used to keep those at work on a shelf, but then um, uh, they kept moving his office so much that he's like, you know what, what's the point in even setting things up because they're moving me around so much, so uh, he just brought the stuff home. These are full of those Tsum Tsums. Yeah, tons of Tsum Tsums. That's some Star Wars stuff. These are LOLs. So I try to get some things out for them. Amelia's gonna want this house. This is Peppa. I know that was loud. She's gonna want Peppa Pig's house. A chapel's like, up. Oh, I know what's happening. Children are coming. And I'll let her, I'll let her set that up. I'll just leave that there. But I went today and look who's asleep. He's been asleep for hours and hours and hours, but he's breathing. Trust me. He's breathing. He's just out of it. As a matter of fact, last night, he got us up. Um, it was like, he can't sleep in our bed anymore. He was sleeping. He slept with us his entire life. And uh, he's gotten to the point where he can't see well at all. I've told you all this. So... Uh, he fell off the bed one night because he just, he can't see. And the kids are here. I'll talk to you later. Oh, it is. Go ahead. Open it. What is this? It might be the, oh, you know what? It's I the opposite. Yep. Yeah, you got to trade. You got to trade. Trade. Wow. So that's something for you to play with while you're here. Oh, Amelia, you got, let's see, Gavin, let's see. Let me just see it and then you can have it right back. Ryan's World, Ryan's Fire Truck. That's cool. And Amelia's already opening her box. My sweet love. That is, <laughs> your knife. That is so cute. So what I was saying right before they got here was uh, Guido has not been able to sleep with us at night anymore because he fell off the bed. And we don't have like a carpet under our bed. So when he fell out of the bed, he hit the wood floor and it, it he hit it really hard. So we have had him sleeping in his bed at night now. And uh, so last night, we just had a rough night with him. He got Kevin up at like... 3.30, 3 o'clock, because Kevin heard him uh, walking around. So Kevin let him out, and then we we let him back in, and you, you could hear him when, he, sh when he's, he has an ear infection. He shakes his ear, but you can hear his, um, his collar. You can hear it rattle. And um, so we could hear that, 
and then we started hearing him like actually groan and so i told kevin i said he needs some ear medicine because it must hurt him really bad for him to groan like that so we were up at 3 30 giving him medicine and i also gave him i have a like a dog equivalent to tylenol so i gave him some of that and so he's been um he's been laying around a lot today but now i will make sure that i give him more medicine tonight because um, hey, usually it's medicine. not an, usually it's not an ear infection. Usually it's like a fungus. And for some reason no he, he keeps a fungus. It's absolutely disgusting. So Amelia has already changed her clothes. And what did you get with her, Amelia? Oh, yeah. You would, what, what, what all did you get with her? What is that you're putting in her mouth? Pacifier. A pacifier. And what else did you get with her? I got it a blankie. A blankie and what else? A toy. A toy. A clothes. More clothes. And um, another bow. Bow. Did you get a, anything for her to drink? A bed for her and her rattle and her milk. A rattle and milk. She got a lot of stuff, didn't she? Mm -hmm. You like her? But you, where's her home? Where's her home? Mm -hmm. We need to get her a bed, don't we? Yes. Top of this. We got a bed for the doll. I have this basket. And there she is. I wanna, she I looks wanna so wanna. cute. And then you can carry her stuff around. Oh, she can yeah, set up like a big girl in there. And she sweat. What is her name? Um, baby. Does she have a name? Baby alive doll. Baby alive doll? Mm -hmm. She's so happy because she's grown up. She's grown up. Mm -hmm. I put two heaping spoons. Kevin's making, um, Papa is making Amelia some, Amelia and Gavin some chocolate milk. Can, can you open it? No, I got it. You got it. She does not like to be helped. Oh, did you get some stickers in there? Oh, yeah, those are heart stickers. Yeah, those are... No, it didn't. Those are, those are little heart stickers. So what you do is you write, uh, you write their name on them, and then, um, and then you sell... That's all that comes in there. And then you... Look how cute they are. Look at the girls that Can you get. Have another one? Yeah, hold on. Wait a minute. Let's see which ones you get. You get how many of these sheets? And see, I mean, you can take them apart if you want to. These come apart. Yeah, you have to be really careful or they'll, yeah. So, like, yeah, look. You. Look, you want Annie to help you? So you won't tear them. I gave Amelia a, I gave Amelia a basket, so Gavin insisted on a basket too. And now he's brought this whole thing back in the kitchen. Can we, open one of these? we bought you some Valentines. Valentine's. You want to see them? And Gavin, we'll see what yours look like. We will. Yeah, we'll get you another one. Hold on. Yeah. Amelia. We we bought them at the Dollar Tree. I think those are tattoos. Yeah, you got those. Oh, they're one, stickers. One second. No, that's they must be stickers. But see what those are. Yeah, these are your other. Maybe ones. if you wait, maybe I'll get them. Yeah, if you wait, I'll help you. They're tough to open. Those are not. They're tough to tear apart. So They're tough to tear apart, yeah. No, I tear it apart. Ooh, Gavin, you got, uh, you got, uh, okay. tattoos. <laughs> Look, Gavin got tattoos. So we can oh, put those, yeah, those are tattoos. So, Gavin, we can put those on your arm if you want to or whatever. Oh, do I have a tattoo? I don't think yours came with tattoos. But Gavin's came with tattoos. 
So these are thin. These are thinner than the LOL ones. Um, I'm not used to them being this thin, but these are nice. Yeah, I don't think those came with tattoos. Yeah, yours didn't come with tattoos. Uh, we, they didn't have, um, I don't think they had any, uh, yeah, any girls, girls with tattoos. What do your frozen ones look like, Amelia? Can I see them? Oh, thank you. Here. Let's see. Let's see. what These are the frozen two ones. Uh, connected by nature. Courage is calling. I've got your bike. We are stronger together. Give. Yeah. Right, here's all the LL ones. Here's the stickers, baby. These are a heart. Gavin, stickers. did you open? Did you open all of yours, Gavin? Both of yours. Send the Valentine. Put it right here. What is what? I got heart. I got heart. Which ones did you like the best, Gavin? Do you like the Avengers or the Star Wars ones? Oh, you like the tattoos. Well, we can do a tattoo whenever you're ready. You want to wait until after you take a bath tonight? That way you can make sure it stays on. Because if you put one on now, it'll come off in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to put hearts on your bag? Yeah. You want me to pull them off and hand them to you? Yeah. What? I'm going to put you Oh, you want me to put them on? What do you want me to do? All of them. All of them? You sure? You don't want one right here on your friend? No, that hurts. <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. You want some? Oh, we got, we got a lot. Hey, oh. You want to make it easier? Oh. How are you? Just keep it all the way. Oh, you do it. Isn't that easier? Yeah. This is a lot of hearts. Here. We put them here. Do you want me to throw away the boxes? They don't open. They're just the in boxes. The boxes. Just just away. They're just pictures of me. They're just pretty they pictures. Go. So these came from the Dollar Tree, and let, here, let me open the paint for you. And you're gonna paint the bear and take your time, take your time and, and decide what colors you want him to be. Oh, there's a whole other sheet of stuff. Well, I would use, uh, you need to like use one color at a time. So like if you use pink, when you're done, when you want another color, you have to dip it in the water, and we probably need a uh, napkin. <coughs> it's okay, we'll wipe it off. When you're finished, we'll wipe your hands off, okay? Or do you want a napkin now? Look, Papa's getting you a napkin. That will be very pretty. That means that I have to dip in all the cutters. If that's what you want to do. So tonight for dinner, we made Gavin and Amelia some baked macaroni and cheese because this is their favorite meal ever. Um, and we've had these bowls forever. I yeah. think I bought them at the Dollar Tree or something yeah. like that. Mm. This one's Monsters, Inc. And this one is the Avengers. Yeah, so we've had them for quite a long time. But we usually order pizza. Last time they were here, we ordered pizza. And they just don't eat it, do they, Kev? No. 
So, so I'm left eating it all. Huh? So I'm left eating it all. Yeah, but which I don't need to. We'll uh, we'll enjoy some of this macaroni and cheese oh, yeah. though, and they'll they'll like this. They'll eat more of this than they would pizza. And you're gonna, are you going to pick out the marshmallows? Uh -huh. oh, there's a lot of marshmallows. Out of that whole bag of cereal, these are all the marshmallows that you get. Of course, Amelia has eaten about a handful, and I've eaten some too. Uh, but you get quite a few marshmallows in that bag of cereal, and they're really, really tasty. Your fist. That looks like Professor Snake. <laughs> that has been so Where do you want it at? On your arm? Uh -huh. You want it right? Point at. Where you want it at? Right there? Okay. Which one do you want? Um, this one. You want and that this one? Boy. You want those two? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know if your arm is big and enough this for two. One. <laughs> and another one. She wants one of each. One of each. Okay. Which one do you want? Where do you want this one? Went on your arm right there, okay. Here. And now one there. Okay. And you gotta be really still, okay? While I put water on it. It'll be cold. You ready? Ooh, cold. Ooh. <laughs> we might need you. No, we don't need more water. Or... It's fine. Huh. Wait, you gotta be still. It's gonna, you gotta hold it on there really still. You have chips in your hair. That, you, that doesn't surprise me. She you. likes those Pringles. Hold up, be still. There okay, he hold on, is. don't touch. Don't, don't touch, touch, don't touch. Don't touch. Okay. I like your robot. He's cool looking. He says He goes beep boop beep boop. He says beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop. He does he has a funny sound. He goes beep boop beep boop 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 beep boop. Beep boop. Can you say awesome That's what your daddy says. <laughs> your daddy's a little crazy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's just so nice. Okay. I can't see through the hair. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Hey, I am Nanny. Where is the last one? Okay, here you go. What are these? They're erasers, but they're spacemen because you like space. Can I play with them all? Yes, and Amelia, I got you a cash register. Can you open it? Yeah, we're going to get Papa to open it. Get, get Papa to open your cash. I open it. Oh, you want to do it yourself? Oh. Gavin? You use your teeth. Yeah, you can't use your teeth. Gavin, you want to see yours? It is, I know, that's why I said Papa has to help you. I mean, you what came with your cash register? Did you, oh, there's a cake mix and chocolate chip cookies. And that's how you pay. Yep, you've seen somebody, people do that before. Some of these are like Legos because you can break them and then you can fix them. Oh, those See, are cool. And those move. And then like, this makes noise. Are you gonna check Gavin out I at the grocery the store? He's the king of them all. He's cool, Gavin. And that hit, that is his worst monster. If they don't, cool if they don't do their job, they will get smushed on. They'll get smushed on. And which their their job is to build these spaceships. Say so they're they're all in our space and they want to get to Earth. It comes with one planet. They're in the air, these things, and then they try to get the earth. That's why they build all these. That's pretty cool, Gavin. I did not turn it on. Look, you did turn it on. Let's see. We are still working on that particular problem. It says this. Oh, that lights up. See that light? Did you see that light? But I had to push it really hard to get the light on. It didn't want to come on. 
It might, it might need that's, a new battery because that light did not want to come on. That is a no, That's the case. You got Plumpy. Do you see where Plumpy is on the board? Wow. So you have to go yeah, all the No, Plumpy's way down here at the beginning. Plumpy, 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 Plumpy. So you have to go all the way back down there. But you can still catch like up. Yeah. So it's Saturday morning. We slept good last night. Did and I now win? we're playing Candyland. Yeah, no, you didn't no, you didn't win because you went back to look. You're back on Plumpy. Now it's my turn and I got a purple, but I'm not too far ahead of you. You still have time to catch up. Okay, here, it's your turn. Are you happy? And you're dead. Oh, I'm, I'm dead, okay. So, the people across the street are up on the roof. This is through the window in the front door. They're up on the roof taking their um, Christmas decorations down. And that would be a part that I would not like. I would not like getting up on the roof and having to deal with those uh, heights at all. You could probably see it better out this window. But yeah, you can see the, the guy at the highest point behind him. I think that's, um, I think it's a lot of lights, but I think it's also one of those um, snowflakes that light up or something. But today's a good day to do it. Now it's cold, they're probably very, very cold. But it's, um, I think it's like 45 degrees, something like that. But it's been raining the past couple of days, so I'm sure um, they wanted to take it down as soon as the it wasn't raining. And the sun's out. It's deceptive. If you looked out there, you see the sun and you think, oh, it's probably warm. Probably be nice to go for a walk, but you would have to really bundle up because it is cold. I'm surprised they're not wearing, um, they're not both wearing hats and stuff. But they've taken the stuff out of the front of the yard. But they still have the stuff here to go, too. I guess they're trying to get the, the hard part over with first while they can. I think he had borrowed, like, I don't know where he works, because we, we've never met these people. But it, I think he borrowed, like, a bucket truck or something like that from work in order to put them up. And you see uh, Mickey over here. Mickey looks like he had one too many on New Year's. He's looked like that for a couple of days now. <laughs> So, but they'll probably be doing this. I don't know that they'll get it all finished today. I bet they'll still be ha have to. Uh, I bet they'll have to work on it again tomorrow to get it finished. Today, Kevin and I have some boxes to open for you. These um, some pr surprises. Um, this one is from Natalia, and it's so funny, uh, Natalia, that you've sent me something today because I just saw a, a picture of yours on Instagram uh, of you in a red dress. Um, I've got time on my paws and you on my mind. I uh, wonder if I can read this. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful week. A wonder sorry. I hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas and that the start to your year has been good. I got the dang flu and couldn't even participate. That's yeah, good. Um, anyways, I recently graduated college and for the first time in years went to Mexico to visit my grandparents for New Year's. I went to Starbucks because I'm addicted. <laughs> and when I saw the mug, I knew I had to get it. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope it adds something new to your collection. I'm so happy y'all keep making videos. I remember watching them from my first year 
dorm y'all's family keep me company when i was away from mine and i truly feel like i know y'all for four years later hope i can keep watching y'all for my year she lives in texas if that helps with the y'all um uh, send my hello to Ashley and Andrew. Thanks for following me back on Instagram. <laughs> Means a lot. Have a great rest of your year. If I find any new fun items, I'll send them over. With love, Natalia. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh, this is awesome. Mexico. And look at the little girl mm -hmm. with the pigtails. They, there's so um, many things on the here. Those remind me of those prayer flags. Oh, I'm yeah. sure that's not what that no. is, but that's what that reminds um, That looks like in uh, Epcot. It has, it has tech temples. That not that what they have in mm -hmm. Epcot at Disney? And they have those men playing uh, the musical instruments. And I don't know, I'm sure this monument is something very specific. Uh, let me show this to you. Oh, a Day of the Dead. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, well, I'll start with this side. So this i love somebody just recently asked me do you still collect the mugs do you still love the mugs i do i dearly dearly adore these mugs and I, we keep a running list of yes all the ones we have so if you're ever wondering yes i put it in the description below this video there's a description and uh yeah you just click on it and it'll tell you all the ones i it's have like a document on and so i'm gonna add thank you so much i absolutely love that and i will add that to the list and yeah because people have asked me well um, they don't want a good duplicate if they can help exactly it. and so i really appreciate it and i've even added like the little christmas ornaments mm -hmm. that i have and i have some special ones that they're not like the been there or you are here they're like countries one says like england and one says oxford and um uh potsdam uh silk I sent me one from germany um but i mean so they're all on that list so thank you very much i, I love those mugs adore them so this uh next package is from aiden and aiden does not want me to give any information about him so i'm not going to he actually wrote on the front of his package that um, he would prefer I not say his last name on camera, but that's a good thing to do because it lets me know. And I don't ever want to embarrass anyone. Um, and uh, so I'm glad you told me that. Okay, these are, it's like candies. Mm -hmm. Lucas. Um, Lucas Chamoy and yeah. Mango. Where do you see that? Oh, and this is chamoy. That must be the flavor. And that's uh Yeah, it's sweet and sour chamoy flavored powder. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've never heard Maybe of chamoy. Still look about. I have no idea what that even is. So yes, I will look this up. They look kind of like a baby bottle pop type thing. Um, and this looks like it would be grape. So I will look, yes, I will look these up. This is squash candy. Literally, it's it squash. is literally squash. Squash candy. It, it is, is squash. Yes, this is from Los Angeles, California, um, and it is squash, sugar, water, and lime. Oh, so it's actually squash, squash. It's squash, squash. I thought when I they said squash, squash candy, they meant squash. No, it is literally squash. So that'll be fun. You wrote a message about that. Okay, and this is. My oh, Mayra Milk Candy. Ooh, an orange one. I'm sure this word, it looks like mucus, but I know, <laughs> I know that's not, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it. It's M-U-E-C-A-S. To me, that's like mucus. It's <laughs> but I'm sure it means orange or mango or something like that. So, okay. Uh, some snacks to enjoy with Andrew, and some are unique in spice level. I bought these while on vacation in Phoenix, Arizona this week. I also visited Temp, T-E-M-P, or Temple, Arizona. So that is so cool. Okay, so this is a milk candy, and it is milk, sugar, coconut, vanilla, and almonds. They put a big almond in the middle. Actually, this is one of the spices. I cannot wait to try these. It looks like a spice. So these are both the same brand. 
Mayra, M-A-Y-R-A. And yeah, uh, El Super Leon uh, Spice. Yeah, natural fruit candy. It looks like it would be spicy. It looks like it's covered in spice. Mexican Hawthorne pulp. It has chili powder, tamarind. This one has tamarind too. Uh, yes, I bet you this is gonna be very spicy. And you can see on the back, the kind of the package where it looks like it would have some spices. Yeah, tamarind candy. And so these are Those like- are on spoons. Oh, they are on spoons. Isn't that unique? So you can make a big batch of it, take a spoon. That's very unique <laughs> to buy a um, candy like that on the spoon. Uh, yeah, so this has a type of chili in it and tamarind. Uh, I bet, yeah, I bet these are gonna be very, very spicy. But it'll be, still be fun to try. Um, Palanquita? Palanquita, uh, mixed brittle, which I love brittle. So this has peanuts, sesame seeds, almond, coconut, pumpkin seed, and it's a product of Mexico. So it looks You've like they, they put all that in there and they uh, pounded it flat. And then this one is Ablita, Ablia's milk candy wafer. And uh, so it's 100% cow milk and it is milk candy. So these are all gonna be very fun to try. And this is from Mexico too. Oh, here's so, the other Lucas candies. Lucas, what, what was Lucas? These, what those Lucas? Oh, these, yes. Okay. okay, Lucas. And so this is uh, Squinkles. <laughs> yeah. Squinkles. Relinos. Relinos. Pineapple flavored hot candy strips with tamarind flavored filling. So and this that is, is Tammy's candy. Hey. <laughs> it's cranky it's candy. It's not cranky. I'm not cranky. Uh, Ricolino cranky. It says new taste. It's cornflakes with chocolate, uh, a chocolate flavored coating. Cranky. I want to say that we've had this brand. And I mean, this says new flavor. Of course, we're going to try it. Uh, but I swear we've had something that was cranky before. And then these are best choice sugar-free, low calorie drink. These are uh, great. And Aiden has actually sent us some uh, drink mixes in the past to try. And I don't think I did a video of them. I think I just tried them during a vlog. Um, yeah, these are all great. But uh, yeah, I love, it. and I'm thinking Aiden sent us, I'm thinking what he sent us before was the grape. Uh, but it was a different brand. Um, and I believe I tried them during the vlog um, and not a video by itself. But these are uh, fit and active. I'm wondering if that might have been the one he sent me before. I'm not sure, but they were good. They, But they weren't like, um, I don't think they were liquid like this. I think, I'm thinking it was for some reason the fit and active in the powder like these. Um, so I just don't remember. But thank you very much. And he has sent more. But wait. Let's see. I don't know if it's sticky or if it's just doesn't want to move. I think he put it in here to make sure. Well, I mean, it's not moving in there. That it, would, that it wouldn't leak. Yeah. This is the Icy Squeeze Candy. This is Cherry. Have we seen something like this before? Icy Squeeze Candy. Uh, I've seen Icy Candy before, but I don't know if it's Squeeze Candy. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. That'll be very fun. It seems like I've seen icy candy before, but haven't tried it. And you have very nice handwriting, Aiden. Very, very nice handwriting. The green dreams. I thought these are like milkshakes or. He Put said he bought something. these grapes so that we could try the, to see how they compare. Oh, um, with the Kool-Aid. Like, yeah. So, so he gave us Kool-Aid, but then he gave us the um, this uh, Best Choice brand, and then he gave the us liquid. the uh, Fit and Active. Yeah, he said we could do a comparison to see which one is the best. Um, he said he bought them from Save a Lot. Oh. 
We used to have a save a lot here. Uh, there is a still we a save a lot, but we, we never go. We just never go there. It's on a weird side of town. Yeah, it's kind of like if you live on that side of town, and we live in a very small town, but we're it's just kind of out in the country for us. Yeah, it's out in the country. Exactly. It's it's a grocery store out in the country, and my sister used to go there a lot because well, she lived she a, lived on that side of town. Of so like it's one of those places where. You can go, and I even I observed this last time before we even got there. I told Kevin, I said, I think Jennifer used to go here a lot when we were having like a cookout, and you needed things. You needed like potato chips or hot dog buns or ice, those last minute things for a cookout. And what did I see somebody buying while we were there? It looked like a dad, and he was getting all the cookout stuff. It looked like he was just gathering it all up from Save a Lot so that he could take it home because it's right down the road. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's what they used to buy there a lot is cookout stuff. So um, I do not, I'm, I'm going to say right now, he said, uh, I hope that they can include Andrew in a family taste test since they are spicy. I haven't said this in a video yet because I don't think Andrew wanted me to say it, but I, I'm going to say it because I feel like Aiden's going to want an explanation. Andrew probably will not be in these videos because Andrew is on a diet. Yeah, he's trying to watch what he eats. He's watching what he eats and he is doing keto and because he's doing keto, he is very, very limited. And so... I haven't said that on the videos because... Uh, we could ask him and see if he can adjust his diet, but, but just I don't hate, expect it. Yeah, I wouldn't expect it. But yeah, so if we have uh, videos where like if Kevin finds new meat sticks to try... I've been any, making her doing with me. Yeah, anything meat or something like that, we will of course ask Andrew. Yeah. But anything that has a lot of... Chips food, and things like that. We've had that's it. why you haven't seen him. And people have asked me, people have said, where's Andrew? Andrew's normally in the chip video. Well, Andrew hasn't really wanted me to say anything, but so now I'm saying something because, <laughs> because I want Aiden to know. I don't think Andrew will care too bad. And if once Andrew loses the weight he wants to lose, I'm sure he will come on camera and talk about it and show you how he looks. And But I'm not going to give any updates on Andrew right now because it's his news to tell. And I hate it when somebody else spoils it for somebody else. So it's his news to tell and it's something he's very proud of and excited about and we're excited for him. And so I'm sure he'll share it with you all when the time comes. And he's still going, so. He, yes, he's still going. He's only been doing it for a month. Just, right after Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, that's what he's doing. So, this is, this is Maizena. Cornstarch. Cornstarch beverage mix. And it looks like this one is vanilla, vanilla and chocolate. And chocolate. Yeah. Yes. No, this is coconut. Oh. This one is coconut and chocolate. So, I cannot wait to try that. Plastic. I'm gonna have, and this is made in New Jersey. It's a, oh, okay, it's a product of Mexico, but it's distributed out of New Jersey, so it is from Mexico. And then we have Aiden sent a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, this is always save wild berry muffin mix, and this is strawberry muffin mix. We love muffins. This, mm -hmm. these packages Hello. remind me of like the Martha White muffin mixes. Um, but Aiden, thank you. So Natalia, you thought of me on your vacation to Mexico. And it's funny, Aiden went to Arizona, but Aiden got me Mexican snacks to try. <laughs> so, so both of you are on the same wavelength. So thank you very, very much. This will be fun to try. And you all give me, you give me some homework too when you do this, because I, I, have, to, look it all I have to look it all up. And believe it or not, I know, you can't tell from the videos, but I really do make an effort to pronounce things halfway correctly, and um, I'll try. I really will. Okay, let me tell you about this box. Um, oh. Hi, Tammy and Kevin. We saw your rave review of our new Little Bite Cinnamon Muffins, and we are so glad you like them. To show our appreciation and to help you create more snackable content on your channel, we are sending you an assortment of other Little Bites varieties to try. We hope you enjoy, and if you ever need more, we are simply a YouTube video away. Thanks again, Little Bites Snacks. Um, and it says, reach out to Jennifer. Um, thank you so much. Um, they... 
We did review the uh, their new Cinemuffins and they were really good. They did reach out to me and wanted to know if they could send us some. So um, they have sent the crumb cakes, which we love. Uh, they have sent the more of the Cinemuffins and some pumpkin muffins. Uh, let me tell you who loves these, it's Gavin. Yeah, he does. He loves these. The these are, oh, cookies. Cookies. New limited edition. I don't know that we've ever seen. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen cookies. I don't think, yeah, I don't think we've ever seen these cookies in our area. Well, I'll reuse your boxes too. Uh, thick, that is a very nice very box. Thick, nice boxes. <laughs> um, so thank you yeah, thank very, you very everyone. much. Uh, yeah, we, I, I appreciate that. Um, I think it's neat. Uh, when we're making these videos, we don't think about the company watching and... Um, no, because we just say one thing. Yes, I'm sure sometimes companies wish they hadn't watched. <laughs> um, but we, we don't think about that because, and that's probably a good thing, because we always want to be completely open and honest. You know, and even if I knew the company was watching, I would still be very honest. Um, so um, I really appreciate this. Uh, and we will, of course, uh, review these. Um, I appreciate it. And thank you to, once again, to Natalia and Aiden. Um, like I said, these will be fun to do, but I love that Mexico cup. Uh, so thank you all very much. So I didn't get a chance to tell you, I read three books to Gavin uh, when they spent the night this past weekend. I read um, The Wonky Donkey, which he loved. And then I read Peppa Meets the Queen, and I had gotten this out um, intending to read it to Amelia, but she was so tired that she went on to bed, so it was just me and Gavin. Um, and then I read Giraffes Can't Dance, which Gavin loved. But he is getting, um, he is reading so well himself that he was like, uh, he was telling me to slow down and so that he could read along. But these books really aren't for his age level. They're just ones, random ones that I picked out for him. But I wanted to tell you what I've been reading as well. I have been reading the Harry Potter books again. So I, um, I read through the first one and I had finished the first one in uh, November, on November 28th, 2001 is when I finished the first one. And so now I am reading um, the uh, Chamber of Secrets and this one I finished on December 6th of 2001. So I read them very quickly and I forget how they're, when you're reading them, they're just, it's like, oh gosh, they're just so good. You just want to gobble them up uh, because they're such an easy read and it's so interesting and there's um, drama going on, but they're also very funny and there's, uh, there's a lightness to them and they're just an easy read and they're a fun read and you feel good, you feel good reading them. And it's, it's a nice read before you go to bed at night because, um, you know, there's no uh, bad thoughts or anything like that. They're just really, really good. But I thought it was funny. Uh, you read certain things in these books, even though I've seen the movies, uh, you forget some things. And it's, uh, Harry got his uh, book list for the second year, and it was really funny because um, a lot of his books were written by, um, I think his name's, yeah, Gilderoy Lockhart wrote a bunch of the books. I mean, like the majority of it, one, two, three, four or five, seven of his books that he had to buy were written by Gilderoy Lockhart. And um, long story short, it ends up that Gilderoy Lockhart is actually teaching the class and that's why he's making the students buy all of his books because he's full of himself. He's very um, arrogant and full of himself. And so they're, the students are having to, they're very expensive books and um, like the Weasley family, they don't have a lot of money to spend on these things, uh, but they're having to buy all these, and um, he's the teacher. But but it reminded me of, this happened to Ashley. Ashley was taking a class, and she had to buy a book for the class, didn't think anything of it. Well, it ended up, it was the teacher's book. 
the teacher had written this book. It had absolutely nothing to do, and I mean, this is a college class. It had absolutely nothing to do with the class she was taking. Um, and she did complain to someone, I don't know if anything if ever got done. Like, she didn't get her money back, that's for certain. Um, but the book she was required to get was written by the teacher, and he was just trying to get people to buy his book and so that he was getting money. So, it, it, that was not fair at all. Um, and it was almost, um, I'm thinking the book that he wrote was almost like kind of a yearbook type of a book. Um, but anyway, I just, these books are, they're wonderful. And I just, I hadn't read them in so very, very long that things just strike me as funny and, um, I, I love all of them, but I love Ron. I'm always, uh, I think, partial to the ginger, and so I love Ron Weasley, um, but I love all of them, and I think these these are just absolutely terrific books. On a side note, um, I just read on Facebook that one of my uh, very favorite authors, uh, M.C. Beaton, passed away over the holiday. I think she was like 82 or 83. Um, I have some of her books here. I'll just pick this one up. Uh, she writes the uh, Agatha Raisin books. And then, where are the Hamish Macbeth books? Um, I've got them all right here. Uh... Anyway, she writes a Agatha Raisin and uh, Hamish Macbeth. She writes those uh, those series, and they're absolutely fantastic. If you like Agatha Christie books, which I do, um, Agatha Christie was my first, uh, like, dive into murder mystery books, um, you would like, uh, M.C. Beaton. M.C. Beaton is absolutely terrific, and, um, so that is very, very sad that she died over the holiday because, I mean, she was still writing books. Things, books were still coming out, and so it's sad to know that, um, unless they get a ghostwriter, uh, that there will not be any more of her books, and honestly, I don't think the family, I hope they don't get a ghostwriter because, V.C. Andrews, the family of V.C. Andrews did that, and V.C. Andrews, I, I absolutely love her books, of uh, the Flowers in the Attic series, so um, she had not written a lot of books before she died, and so then the family hired a ghostwriter to finish stories that she had started, but then they continued on with new stories, and they were not as good. They just weren't. They, a lot of them, um, I would read and the times and dates would be messed up and like the story was supposed to take place in this time, but they were mentioning songs that weren't out until 10 years later or, you know, things like that that didn't add up. So whoever they got to write some of her stories, they just didn't do a fantastic job. Um, but, uh, so, V.C. Anders is another one of my favorite authors, and I try to um, share those books with people whenever I can. But these are books, the Harry Potter books. It's something that, uh, when I was reading the first one, I, I told Kevin, I said, I would love to read these to Gavin. I think right now, Gavin's still too young. Gavin's only six years old, and although he can watch the movies, I think understanding what's going on in the book, I think it would be too much. It would be too deep for him. So, um, so he still has a couple of years to go. Uh, but we even have these, um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Quidditch Through the Ages. We have those too. So, I, um, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it, and I can't believe that I've uh, put them down for this long without picking them back up, um, but I just, I had a lull in books, and I thought, you know what, after the new year, if I don't get any new books for Christmas, then I told Kevin, after the new year, I'm going to start reading Harry Potter again, and so it just, the first book was so good, and it, it just goes by so quickly. I I hope that it would last um, 
longer than it did. It's 309 pages, but it's the quickest 309 pages uh, because like I said, you just wanna, you wanna keep reading. It's one of these books where I have to make myself stop reading it at night to go to sleep because sometimes when I'm, a lot of times when I'm reading, whatever I'm reading, it will make me tired and it will get me in the mood to go to sleep because I'm just like, okay, I've read a chapter. That's, that's it. This is one of those books where you're like, oh, wait a minute, five more minutes, or let me just read the next chapter, or let me just read a few more pages because there's always something going on. And, um, if this is the book, the Chamber of Secrets is the book where, uh, Dobby shows up and he's bad. He really, he is bad. He, um, I had forgotten um, that uh, he was the one that Harry was, Ron and Hermione and Hagrid were all writing to Harry over the summer while school was out and he didn't get any of the letters. And I had forgotten that that's because of Dobby. Um, and then he got Dobby, um, I mean, uh, Dobby got Harry in trouble uh, with the Dursleys, which I mean, he would have gotten in trouble for some reason with them anyway. They are so abusive. Um, anyway, I love these books. Um, so if you have not, for some reason, if you have avoided reading Harry Potter, if you think they're kids books, whatever, they're not. They're, they're, um, I don't know what age you would start reading them, but they, I mean, you can read these at any age. I don't think it gives an age. I don't know what age these are recommended for. Um, if you all know, you can say below in the comments. I just, I just don't have a clue. Um, you just need to have, understand what's going on. You know, you have to, there's, there's, and they get deeper. So, you know, as the books go on, um, the drama gets deeper and you learn more about uh, characters and things like that and you have to have an understanding of stuff like that. So like right now, Gavin just would not have any understanding. Um, I, I take it for granted that he knows that things, like um, it wasn't that long ago that I said something about somebody being drunk and he's like, well, what is drunk? You know, what, he doesn't even know what that is. So, you know, you, um, I forget that, uh, I've always talked, I always talk to little, little people like they're adults. And so I forget that he doesn't necessarily know everything that, um, so I don't know what age you would start, but, um, you could be 120 and still read these books because they're absolutely fantastic. So if you haven't read them, I hope you will. Well, I wanted to give you an update on Ashley's car today. She, I think she said it cost her like $3,100 in addition to, what did she already pay out? Like $4,000? 4, $4,000 $4, for the new motor. And then by the time she had to take it to a, a car dealership and then uh, this place, a uh, uh, car lot, or this place that she, a mechanic she originally took it to, by the time they got it back and did everything, I'm thinking she says it was like $3,100. Uh, I didn't write it down, so, and she called, and I was thinking when Kevin got home, I thought he would be able to tell me again, and they didn't talk to each other, and she's gone somewhere, so, and she said, I'm scared to death it's going to die on me or something like that, and I knew. I told her, I said, I knew you would feel that way. I said, you'll probably feel that way for like a week. You're not going to trust it, but um, she said they told her that if she took it after 500 miles, if she takes it back out there, they'll give her a free oil change. Uh, Which you probably needs when you're wearing a new engine. Oh, you think so? Yeah. So she'll need to pay attention to the mileage. Um, but she, uh, so the initial problem was uh, was she had the trouble with the motor. The motor blew up, so she got the new motor put in. Then the computer wouldn't work. So what ended up being the problem was there was a short somewhere. And um, I don't know where the short was, but that's what it was. So that's why they had to take it to a car dealership was to find this short. And the mechanics that uh, looked at it uh, initially at the car dealership couldn't even find it. It took like a master mechanic to be able to find this short. So it's just, you know, it was just one thing after another. So she went, That was that during Thanksgiving? 
Did this, this all happen? Thanksgiving. It was right before Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was before Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving. right before Thanksgiving because um, she went out to her dad's house. Yeah, because he was out of and town. And he went out of town before Thanksgiving. Yeah, my so. dad went out of town before Thanksgiving and this happened. So yeah. this so happened. So that week So that's, that's how long it has been. So today is January 8th, Wednesday, January 8th. So she has not had her car for a month and a half a a half. yeah so she finally got her car back and and um you know she's gonna keep it a good long while though because she still owes on it and she just paid all this money for it so hopefully it'll last her for many years to come with a new motor um but i also i want to tell you that someone asked me to give an update on how we're feeling about our alexa and um we like it just fine. We use yeah. it. Except it randomly pops off and answers questions you haven't asked it. But. We almost use it daily. Um, so if we're not using, we, I think the, the most uh, use she gets is when we ask her to set a timer for something. Mm, definitely. So we're asking her almost daily to uh, set a timer for this, set a timer for that. But even if we're not using her for that, um, like today, uh, she went off on her own to let us know that a delivery had been made. And so that's just something that uh, when you order something from Amazon and you get it delivered, uh, she'll let you know that the delivery's been made. Now, I noticed that even though we didn't set it up to do this, it did it by itself before christmas she said because it's christmas i won't let you know what's right. inside the box uh but now that it christmas has come and gone she um i think she let us know that i think she told us today what we got it, she did she did yeah but she, i think there's an option you can set you can set it. an option we we right now don't care um because it's not like I could order anything behind Kevin's back anyway. I mean, because our account's tied and all that. So, um, but we usually use her for, to set a timer. We, we have deliveries on there, uh, which normally we know about the deliveries before she lets us know anyway. So really that's useless for us because we have cameras on the porch. So when people make deliveries, we see it through the camera before she even notifies us. What else do we use the Alexa for? We ask her, some people say, you know you can ask her how to pronounce certain words. You can. Yeah, but it's dicey. <laughs> it is dicey. And she will let you know that she's still working on this feature, that it's not perfect. So really, if we want to know how to pronounce something, it's best to just get on um, get on the computer, get on YouTube, and click on a, like, I type in pronounce and then I type in whatever word I'm wanting to pronounce, and then I go to a YouTube video. That's how I learn how to pronounce things. Um, what else do we use her for? Sometimes Occasionally we'll we ask do, her about we'll the do weather. Simple math sometimes. Yeah, 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 sometimes, yeah. If we're getting ready to do a video real quick and we want to know exactly how many calories is in something, instead of pulling out our phone, instead of getting the calculator out on the phone, we can ask her, what is this divided by this? And you know, so, how many calories are in an apple or whatever? Yeah, you can ask her things like that. But honestly, that's, we. Yeah. Could we live without her? 100% yes. Yeah, we can live without her. We we got her to play... Um, we listen to music occasionally. Occasionally. I was That's what I was going to say. We got her to play some Christmas music occasionally. If we're wanting a specific song, especially when Gavin and Amelia are here, uh, they like her to play very specific songs mm -hmm. over and over and over. And she will do that. Although it's hilarious when Amelia... I asked her to play a specific song, and then she'll play something like totally wrong that Amelia, did, and Amelia gets so furious. No, Alexa, you know, so, um, but we like it. I like it. I like having it. Um, I, I don't mind having it. I like to have it for a timer. I think that's really nice. It's amazing to me that growing up, we never had a kitchen timer. Never, never, ever, ever had a kitchen timer for anything. Um, and then when we moved in our old house, my aunt bought us a, a timer. And I thought, well, this is kind of nifty. It was one of those where you, you turn the knob. And I thought, this is really nice. And then we had one that was digital. 
and it's like and then we would do it on our phone and I still do do uh, set a timer on my phone occasionally especially if I'm not going to be near her uh, if I'm not going to hear her go off but it's like I don't know now what I did uh, you well you just had to watch the clock you know, if you had a cake that was only supposed to be in for 18 minutes or something, you just had to watch, you had to watch, watch uh, a clock and, and now it's just so much easier. Well, I'm going to end the vlog for the week, but I wanted to let you all know that we finished watching The Witcher. I thought that it was uh, 10 episodes, but it wasn't. It was only 8 episodes. I also wanted to tell you that it... Kevin and I did not start enjoying it until probably three-fourths of the way through the first episode. When, when, so up until that point, we're both thinking, I don't know if this is something that we're going to get into. And, um, we just didn't know, you know, it's like, are they trying to be like Game of Thrones? Because you can't be like Game of Thrones and... Um, you know, you and um, what's that other uh, Lord of the Rings? You know, are they trying to be like that? And it's not as good as either one of those, I'll tell you that right now, but it still is really good. It about, like I said, about three fourths of the way through the first episode, we were both by the time we finished that first episode, we were like, okay, we need to watch the next episode, we need to see what's going to happen, and it um, it actually picked up quite a bit and it was very interesting and a lot of women have said that they watch it they like watching it just for uh, the Witcher and for me it's not about that at all because he's just not my type I get it that he's good-looking and everything but he's just not my type so I could care less whether it's him on the screen or someone else um, I d have a definite type you know, uh, Kevin, a uh, Paul Hollywood type, if you look at them, they're like, you'll see the similarities. They're, that is my type. And so, he is just not my type. Um, but now there's this guy on there that plays the bard. I think that's what they call him, the bard. And he reminds me of Shane Dawson. So, Shane Dawson is uh, a guy on YouTube, and I've talked about him in the past. Uh, but he reminds me very much of Shane Dawson. So I guess it's like his hair and the shape of his face. But he, he just reminds me of Shane Dawson. Um, one of the main women, I don't know her name because I don't take the time to remember people's names. But one of the main women um, was in the show Ripper Street. So if you ever watched Ripper Street, which has a great theme song, by the, the way. The trainer of the mages, the one that trains them to be mages. Yeah, the, the, yeah, she's, she's older than the other girls, but yeah, she trains the mages. I don't know if you heard Kevin. Um, she was the one in Ripper Street, which was an excellent show. Um, so she's in there. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else you might, you might recognize, but I don't think so. But it is a good show, and it's only eight episodes. So, Kevin and I watched uh, one every night. I think one night we watched two. Um, but it's just a really good show. So, now we're going to, we're still watching MASH. We're still watching The Simpsons. We're going to be watching those for years to come. So, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And I still think Alan Alda is just so good looking. And I can't believe I never, of course I was young when it was out. So that's why I never noticed. It would have been weird to have thought he was good looking when I was in like third grade. Um, actually that came on, did that come on in 70, what year did that start? 74 or something? Mash? Yeah, so I mean, I was, if, if, yeah, I was a baby. So that, yeah, so I mean, there's no wonder I didn't notice. But I mean, it's just such a good show. It really is. And it's quick. So like, if Kevin and I don't have much time to watch something, it's perfect um, to watch one of those 20 minute shows. Um, another show that we watch that I don't even know if I've ever brought up is uh, Botched. And it has um, uh, Dr. Dubrow, uh, Terry Dubrow, and what is the other, uh, Paul um, Nassif? Nassif. 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 It has him, and they, they have the same formula for every show. They always have two people who they'll do plastic surgery on, and one person who's just, you can tell they have 
issues going on mentally because they don't need anything else done and the doctors refuse to do anything else to them because they don't need anything else done. Um, and these people have had so many, like the human Ken doll guy, that kind of a person, to where they've had just like so many surgeries, they could die if they do any more. Um, but it's so interesting to see the people who, um, they have something going on and they can actually go into these doctors and have it fixed. It's just wonderful. Um, so anyway, we've been watching that, um, I watch Dr. Pimple Popper, but I watch that by myself because Kevin cannot handle it. Disgusting. He says it's disgusting. Um, but what he doesn't realize is that a lot of these people have serious issues going on. I'm sure it's just like bots. Yes, they have a serious issue going on, and she can help them. She she Let me really know watch it. Yeah, she really <laughs> helps them. So anyway, that's what we've been watching lately. Um, I hope you all have a good week. I hope uh, that you will... Tr the Witcher, I want to tell you, though, if you do watch it, it's an adult show. There's nudity in it, and it's extremely violent. Bless you, Ashley. So sorry. Um, it's extremely violent. I look away most of the time, so I don't see the violence, but it's very, very violent, so it's an adult show. And what is that we're going to start watching tonight? The Mandalorian. Ma I was gonna say the mandolin the man the mandalorian we're gonna start watching that tonight so uh we'll probably watch one episode of that each night until we get through uh through it andrew and christina and gavin think it's just wonderful i think so, joe's been watching it too andrew's friend oh uh, he, and he's been watching it too mm -hmm. so i'm excited to start watching that so i hope you all have a great week and we'll see you next week